Dear world, I wish to remind you of a time when games were deep and invigorating, and more importantly than all of that, they had ridiculously fat strategy guides. How fat? 505 pages worth of fat. Now you gotta keep in mind, this wasn't just a strategy guide which told you how to win the missions. It also contained in-depth information on all the different types of ships you could fly in this game. And it also had the second part of a novel which was started in the manual. Part 6, Battle 4, Conflict at Mylock 4. Okay, there's a lot of numbers there. As it turned out, Merrick received transfer orders again. This time, he moved to the FRG Shannis under the command of Admiral Zarin. He didn't have a chance to say goodbye to Ketcher, though he did take leave once again of Gromit and Alamut. Take care of Ketcher, he said as he left, and they assured him they would. He was about to leave when Alamut asked, How come you're always being transferred, Merrick? You move around more than any of us. Don't know, answered Merrick, but privately he suspected that he did know. It was almost certainly the order that was behind his frequent moves. Starting with Morden, Merrick knew that he had been a pawn in a larger game. They moved him at their whim, so he could do the work that they could not do. How many others were there like him, basically doing the Emperor's little jobs, but not knowing a thing about why they were necessary, or what the information they uncovered might mean? In the end, what he thought didn't matter. He was, for some inexplicable reason, what he was. A tool. And wasn't that what he signed up for when he joined the Imperial Navy? He supposed he should feel especially privileged to perform these extra tasks. Never mind how many times the process involved having nearly gotten him killed. Merrick thought about the Order, the Emperor, Harkov, Trace, and a lot of other subjects on the transport that took him to his new assignment, the frigate Shamus. As usual, he slid silently and easily into the framework of yet another ship, and within hours he was ready for active duty once again. This continues for several more pages, and then ties in seamlessly with the actual missions that you have to fight. This is a wonderful, fantastic, amazing book from the golden age of space simulator games. I miss them. I miss them a lot. Thanks for watching.